Hey guys, I'm back here. Let's get into it. Uh, today we're going to do the video settings and we're going to use console commands to do it. Um, but an usual uh, practice that everybody else on YouTube seems to have is you doing it directly into the video settings. Not this go around. Uh, video settings, if you do it in the menu, it only gets called when the menu is created. Um, you want it to uh, trigger as soon as the game starts so when you log into the game uh, your video settings are already set um, so what we're gonna do for that case is we're gonna create a new folder I'm gonna add this one and you guys might already have this folder um, I call it the game mechanics uh, so I'm gonna go game mechanics now inside our game mechanics we are going to get another player controller uh, you might already have a player controller, so if you have a player controller blueprint already handy, open it up and we'll add this to it, and uh, this will control our, our uh, video options. So I'm going to go to blueprint class, player controller, and I'm going to name it BP underscore player controller. So this is the bread and butter of our video settings. Um, so if you guys are already working with the pre, with already uh, a controller, try to go along with this uh, as best as you can. Um, it's going to be wired a little bit differently in blueprints for you because you'll already have, maybe have some code in there. Um, but right now we're going to work off uh, the event begin play. Now what we're going to do is we're going to create the option save, save the settings, and uh, save it as a variable to here. Um, so off here, I'm gonna go, uh, does save exist? And I, I'm just gonna call it slot options. Okay, and then we're gonna branch. Now, be forewarned, this one, uh, this part of the tutorial is probably gonna be the driest. I'm going to do my best to get through it and explain what's going on as best I can. Uh, it does become a pain in the butt, but uh, I'm not going to work with a bazillion variables and I'm not going to make it so it's uh, uh, hard to work with. Like I'm, I'm not going to use arrays or not anything. It's going to be one variable, very easy to use. The one variable is going to be manipulated by the video menu and we'll get into that later on here. So does this game exist? If not, we're going to create a save game and we're going to use the option save. Okay. Now once we create it, we are going to go here and we are going to uh, set it as a variable. Options save. Okay for later references. If it is true, we're going to take our option save, get option save, load, no, load, ah, cast to option save, load, where is it? I need load game from slot, come on now. Load game from slot, there we go. And then we're going to cast to this, and we're going to ask it if it's the option save. And this is going to be options. Okay. If it is true, then we're going to set this variable. Okay. If it doesn't exist, we're going to create one. And then we're going to save it. Okay, so this is going to happen right off the hop. Now I'm going to uh, collapse this to a function and I'm going to call it the options save handler. Options save handler. That way 
It's all because we're gonna keep going off the event begin play for this. Okay. Now, what we are gonna do is we are gonna create probably let's see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven variables. Okay, and they're all gonna be floats. So the first one is gonna be brightness. And this is gonna be a float. And then we're gonna add another one. And this is gonna be view distance. We're gonna add another one. Resolution scale. Add another one. Anti aliasing. Add another one. Post processing. And then we add another one. Shadow. Whoops. 1D. Shadow quality. And effects quality. Okay, so these are all our uh, variables that we're going to control the video settings with. Uh, so I'm going to, of course, put these into a video settings. Uh, slot, just for easier uh, referencing. just going to put the options one in there too, why not? Okay, so first off, let's start with the brightness. Create a custom event. No, not create, just a custom event. Add a custom event. And I'm going to call it adjust brightness. Now a little bit lower, we're going to go in order for these. So another custom event, adjust view distance, we're going to do another one, and this one's going to be adjust resolution scale, okay. Uh, Ansty, okay. <laughs> Anti aliasing, okay. Custom event. Adjust anti aliasing. Another custom event. Post processing. And another custom event. Adjust shadows. Shadow quality. Okay. So let's go all the way back up to our adjusting brightness. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our brightness we're going to get that. We're going to lerp it. We're going to set that to the alpha. Now, what this is going to do, lerping switches from a 0 to 1 on the alpha between the two numbers you put in here. So, with the brightness, it does work on a float. So, we can totally keep it afloat. Uh, so, the minimum brightness level is 0 0.5. And the maximum brightness is 5. Okay? So now what we're going to do is we're going to go take over this. And we're going to go console command. We're going to slide it over. And we're going to append it. And we're going to drag this into here. Okay? And for the console command, for brightness, it's capital G-A-M-M-A -M -M -A, space 
make sure you have a space at the end of it. Okay? Pile, save. Now, see? Very easy. <laughs> no arrays, no checking arrays, no whatever. Let's make this super simple, okay? So now we are going to do for our view distance. So view distance is on a scale, uh, a float scale too. So we're going to take our view distance. And we're going to do the same thing. Okay. So you can just copy and paste that. But for this, it's a float variable of 0 to 1. So we're going to go 0. Actually, we don't even need to do that. We can go like this. We can go this. Compile. Uh, let's go right to here. Okay. Now the console command for view distance is small r dot capital view <laughs> capital view distance scale. Okay. Now the next one, I'm just going to control C this so we have it all the time. Resolution scale is an integer. So we'll do this. We'll control V this. Whoops. Control V this here. Okay. We're going to go here like so. Now we're going to delete this. Now this is going to be a little bit different because it's an integer. So we're going to go resolution scale alpha and this is going to go from 10 to 100 whoops and then we are going to round this round to an int okay and then we're going to drag that here not too terribly hard now, so the resolution scale is r dot screen percentage, and we need this. Whoops, full Z. We need the space at the end. Don't forget the spaces. I think I didn't put a space in the end of that one. No, I did. Don't forget the spaces at the end. Okay. <laughs> so let's drag this down some more. This one can go here. We need some room to work. Now we're on anti-aliasing. Okay. So now I'm going to control V again to bring this back. Execute console command. Uh, the console command for uh, anti-aliasing is R dot post processing. Or whoops, not post processing. Post process uh, quality. Base. Okay. Now this one is an int, uh, an integer as well, and it increments between zero, two, four, and six. And so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our anti-aliasing. We're going to get it. We're going to alpha this. Okay. And then we are going to go from zero. To three because it goes up to six so we're gonna go to three and we're gonna round this okay and we're gonna multiply it integer times integer multiply it by two and then we're gonna do that get rid of this let's clean it up some make it look pretty okay so what that does is when you take 0 to 1 it's going to go 0 1 2 3 and then it's going to times 2 so it'll be 0 times 2 is 0 0 times 1 is 2 and so on and so forth so it does get that 0 2 4 6 uh, now now we're down to uh, post processing so I'm going to paste the code again here and this lerp is actually, it comes in bloody handy when it comes to stuff like this. Okay? 
So now we're at post processing. And we're going to hook this to there again. Now the post processing is 0 to 3. And it's an int as well. So we're going to 0 to 3. And we're going to round it. Okay, and then we're going to set that here, delete that, and post processing console command is sg period post processing quality. Okay, now we're going to go down to shadow quality. I'll put a uh, copy of the console commands in the description below here for you guys. That way uh, you can just copy and paste it because sometimes spelling can be a pain in the butt. Um, so anyways, so for shadow quality it's going to be sg.shadowquality space. Okay, now shadow quality is also a 0 to 3 and so is effects quality so we could just copy this. Uh, did I put a space on the end of that? No, I didn't. Just make sure you guys put a space on the ends of your stuff here. Just double check before we run this, okay? Now, shadow SG shadow quality, it's also 0 to 3. And it's an integer, so we got around it. that. Now I'm going to actually copy this, okay, because it is the same for effects quality as well. Did I already do an effects quality one? Post-processing. Oh no, it's giving me an error because of the variable D. Okay, so now we're going to take your effects quality, drag it here, get that, and we're going to control V for copying this. Uh, I'm going to up here, and I'm going to go like this. And the console command for effects quality is SG effects quality. So I'm just going to take quality or shadow out. Effects quality. Compile, save. Now just make sure you guys all have your spacing at the ends of everything. Very key. And that is that. Pretty dang simple, eh? Um, now what we are going to do is... Uh, actually, you know what? What are we running for time here? We're running 20 minutes. Okay, well I'm gonna call I'm gonna call this a video for today because I don't want to lose your guys' attention. But now we got all this and it's gonna work. We're gonna call all these functions and we're gonna extend off the options handler uh, to uh, run all these commands as soon as the game or as soon as the game loads. Okay, so I'm signing off for now. Stay tuned for the next video. Remember, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, and stay tuned with this series. Thank you.